Welcome back. Hey, you can catch the Strike Force fight. Showtime Extreme, 5 p.m. for the undercard, and then on Showtime, the Ronda Rousey Sarah Kaufman fight. And also, like I said, it's at the Valley View Casino Center, which for you old timers like me, that's the sports arena. We have another guest. We are moving right along on a Wednesday. Yeah. I wonder if we're going to have like Wednesdays be like guest day. But this is one of my friends and a guy who's been very good to me. I go out and watch his quarterback workouts, Annie, and I come away every time knowing just a little bit more about the playing the quarterback position. And guess what? So do some of the best college quarterbacks in the country come away knowing more. George yeah. Whitfield. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Thank you both for, for letting me come on. Now, you're the quarterback builder for Cam Newton, Andrew Luck. Andrew, first preseason game, 10 for 16, 188 yards, two touchdowns. First touchdown on his first pass in the NFL. I jumped ah. up. I spilled the drink that I, was, that I had in my hand. I spilled it. I jumped up. You, you just get so, uh, so wrapped up in, in how they're able to go out and do because you, yeah. you know them. You know, it's, it's, it's more than being a fan. And, you're just proud of him and excited to see those guys do well. What did you, I mean, I thought he looked great. What did you see in his performance? I like the fact uh, that, that he was a, a complete manager. Yeah. You know, you, you know he can throw the ball. You know they're going to, you know, call a game plan to get him going. But it's at their comfort level. And yeah. all the things you don't see, but, you know, directly that he's up there at the line of scrimmage that he's handling, like crisis management. Yeah. You, you knew a lot of those things he was going to bring into the game. Uh, you know, some of that innately and a lot of that stuff he learned at Stanford, but he, he, I was just excited about how he just was able to fly the plane. He looked great. George, uh, Cam Newton got you onto the national scene, and uh, Andrew Luck, and you've worked with some other guys. Uh, when I went up and saw you in Stanford, uh, you had a couple of the up and comers. Started here locally, though, and I know it started even, like, it started with like young kids. Yes. But Pete Thomas. Yes. Valhalla kid, all San Diego, goes to Colorado State comes back, now he's going to North Carolina State where Phillip Rivers went, Correct. in a red shirt this year. Yes. How's Pete doing? Pete's doing incredible. Loves life. He's, he's part of the Wolf Pack now. I had a chance to talk uh, to Phillip Rivers about that a couple months ago. I know Phillip's excited. Uh, but this is his year. This is a, uh, an apprenticeship year. He's got to sit out and uh, he just loves his staff and loves the opportunity to play in the ACC. Now, you started working with him when? Eighth grade. Eighth grade. Oh, wow. So, so Pete was, uh, you know, knobby need and, and you know, a little Henri and, and he's you a know, big guy now. wide eyed yeah. now. But, you know, now he's six foot five, 235 pound guy, and you can't put him in headlocks as easy as you used to. But um, he's going to be one of the most talented quarterbacks that I've ever worked with when he finishes out at North Carolina State. And he'll still have two years. Yeah, so they have two years after this fall. Wow. Now, here's the deal. I know that you work with these quarterbacks, and they're all coming, you know, they're stellar athletes in college. But they, they can be eaten alive in the NFL if they're not mentally prepared. How do you work with them? I know you work with them. How much do you focus on getting, getting into, the, into their brain and helping them understand how to really, you know, thrive in the NFL? Uh, twofold, Annie. One, you, you try to get their mind wrapped around the expectations. Yes, you know, you were kind of an apex predator in college and everything worked for you and, right. and you were able to go up and down the field. It is not like that in the NFL. You know, you, you, you must accept some setbacks. You must accept some, um, some turbulence, so to speak. Mentally, you, you've got to start getting that wrapped up. And then physically on the field, um, as, as Kevin's seen probably about a half dozen times, the majority of our training sessions we work on what we call chaos situations. <laughs> so we don't let them just drop and throw it. Um, you know, people will see me with, with brooms and bean bags and well, I'm either running after them yeah. or they're in the water. You, you try to make the training more challenging so it actually, they can walk off training and walk right into the you know, against the NFL defense as, as best you can. Try it, to help them from that standpoint. It is crazy out there. There's like you see the stuff, and he's like, uh, you're like Tim Burton or some sort of weird, <laughs> wild <laughs> imagination guy. These drills you put these guys through, slapping their hands before yeah. they snap, and uh, you. But that's all because. Anybody can throw against air. Anybody, yes. when things go perfectly, can right. do it. You're getting them for when it breaks down. I'm trying to catch them when their their heart rate and their adrenaline is up. I want right. them to be able to, to learn themselves when they're stressed. And now let's go play it. And then when you get to the game, hey, maybe I'm getting stressed. Maybe the line's doing well. <laughs> but either way, I have a, 
I have a default skill set to, to back me up. It's a whole hey, fight or flight thing. Exactly. Yeah. We've got less than a minute, but before we go, we got to talk about Jarrett Lee. Absolutely. You worked with LSU quarterback Jarrett Lee, and it, it's like he wasn't even LSU's quarterback sometimes. The Chargers love this yeah. kid. I don't know how they're going to keep him on the roster, but they'll sure be happy if they can keep him on the practice squad. You knew, I remember you talking about him in the spring, you knew this kid could play in the NFL. Absolutely. I'm so excited for Jarrett. Jarrett and I, we, we put in probably almost two months right after the championship game. He came out here, he had a chip on his shoulder. He didn't have the opportunity, obviously, to play and see it through in, the, in, the, uh, in his final game as a senior. Yeah. And, but he didn't, you know, he didn't lament on that. He didn't you know, grinding his teeth on it. He came out, we trained, and, and he worked hard. Uh, you know, wide-eyed, coach's son, and he, he's a grinder. And, and you know, we, we went and went and went. Now your chance is to see him pay it off, you know, in this preseason. Those three quarterbacks, uh, Philip Rivers, coach's son, Charlie Whitehurst, his dad played quarterback in the NFL, Jarrett Lee, coach's son. That makes a good quarterback. That, makes a, smart that makes a great quarterback <laughs> room. George, we'll, we'll have you in to talk quarterbacks more. Yeah. Is that cool, Annie? I love the quarterback talk. All right. I do. Hey, thank you very much. Thank you for I, having me. You're made, you're made for television, George. You're, you're, you're going to be a star. <laughs> I think it's the position. It's probably because you've been on TV so much now with all these great, uh, these great quarterbacks. Not UTT e TV. This is awesome. <laughs> hey, when we come back, we're going to do glass half full, glass half empty. While you're ruminating on what that's going to look like, maybe you can try to predict which one of us is the positive of one and which one's the negative. Be right back to Sports Page.